it is that time of the month again where the PlayStation Plus games inevitably leak. I've done a PlayStation Plus leaks video for a while now because generally pretty unreliable and normally it's just some guy on Reddit saying what he wants the PS Plus games to be and making something up. But when a reasonably reliable leak comes out, I, I want to talk about it. Over the weekend, we had a tweet from Wario64. He is a well-known leaker in the gaming community. He has leaked a bunch of games and services and things like this. So I would say with a degree of reliability that this is probably the PlayStation Plus lineup and a lot of the big outlets are covering it out for the month as well. Let's talk about what the games are that have leaked. Let's talk about why we should care about them if they are real and if this is a good month or not. This isn't a full conclusive video. We'll do that when the actual PlayStation Plus games are announced. This can be a bit of a, a but this can be kind of at least the startings of that conversation. Remember, all of this is leak rumor. Don't take any of it completely seriously until we actually have an official announcement from Sony. That is when we will know officially what the games are. This is just TBC for this stage. But we do have some kind of semi-official imagery, so I, I would expect it to be legit. I guess the first game on the PS4 is Mortal Kombat X. This is a fighting game in the Mortal Kombat franchise, Mortal Kombat X stands for 10, so 10 basically. It's strange on this one because it is actually already free for PlayStation Plus users who have a PS5 with the PlayStation Plus PlayStation Plus Instant Games Collection, so it is a little bit unusual that we're getting this one. The other PS4 game is one that I don't think you guys are going to be super happy about, and that is PGA Tour 2K21. I know, it's a little bit of a weird choice for a PlayStation Plus game. Uh, so PGA Tour 2K21, it's obviously last year's PGA game. I think the PGA 2K series of games have been like something that uh, they, they had on hold for a while and they've recently come back in, in the last 12 or 18 or a couple of years, I think. So that's the two PS4 games, Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10 and PGA Tour 2K21. The PS5 game is the newly unreleased game, uh, Hell Let Loose, which is basically this 50v50 online multiplayer game uh, that has been teased and trailers have been shown for this one for quite a few months now. But this is a PS5 exclusive, so you won't actually get this for free if you have a PS4. So the three games, Mortal Kombat X, PGA Tour 2K21, and Hell Let Loose are the potentially three games for PlayStation Plus. So let's talk a little bit about each of them. Uh, and if we should care or not. Let's start with Mortal Kombat X. Uh, basically, you know, like I said, a fighting game. Um, classic Mortal Kombat fighting game here. But like I mentioned at the top, it is unusual that we're getting this one given it is already free for PS5, PS Plus users. So I'm not really sure what the dynamic of that means exactly. Because it basically means if you have a PS5, you're getting one less game. Although I suppose technically if you have a PS4, every month you're technically getting one less game because you can't play the PS5 game. So I don't know if there's like a balance there. Um, it does feel to me a little bit like they're scraping the bottom of the barrel with this one. If it's real, it's highly unusual that that would be one of the free titles. Just like I said, given it is already kind of in their subscription service for free. Which makes me wonder whether or not there is a revamp or something coming for PlayStation Plus. That's probably my prediction is that maybe at the end of the year or the start of the next financial year for Sony, there might be some sort of a proper rejig to PlayStation Plus, maybe incorporating some sort of PS Now thing if they have been able to release that into different markets. That's probably where I would see it going, but that's just a wild prediction at this point. It's just an unusual title for me. It makes sense because it's online, but then it doesn't make sense because it's already free. It's, it's just weird. Hey guys, Editing Josh here, just wanting to cut in for a second. I just realized as I was editing this, I didn't mention anywhere in this video that Mortal Kombat X actually has an unattainable platinum trophy, and I figured it's kind of relevant to you guys as an audience, so I just want to include that in here. Uh, the servers for Mortal Kombat X have been really fiddly for the last 18 or no, 12 months or so, I would say, with some game modes not being available and things like that. So if you're a trophy hunter who has a 100% profile, you should be aware of that before you go for this Platinum Trophy. So I wanted to mention that for you as well. I also made a trophy roadmap for Mortal Kombat X last year when it was free as part of the PlayStation Plus collection. So you can check that out on the channel um, somewhere possibly in the description down below or somewhere else on the channel uh, if you are interested in the trophy guide for that game. It's a tough Platinum Trophy though, so be warned. All right, back to Josh from, I don't know, a day or two ago. PGA Tour again is another one that it's an incredibly mainstream title for everybody because it's about golf, but it is a sports game which is a niche as well in the games industry, so I'm not really sure why. And it's not like it's an NBA or a FIFA or something like that which are a lot more popular. It's a, just a, it's a golf sports game which is, I think, a pretty disappointing one, realistically. We had something similar a few months back with the Tennis World Tour game, or the Tennis, I can't remember what it was called now. I forgot to even add that to my cart, honestly, so I don't even own it. Uh, but that game was, you know, it was pretty rough. I think this is going to be a better game than that. 
But, you know, the reception to a sports game like the tennis game was pretty negative, I would say, from most people. Um, so there's that. But let me know in the comments down below what you think of these two games. The other one, Hell Let Loose, I think is very interesting. I think this is actually a pretty solid game to include in the lineup. Given it's not out yet, we don't know a huge amount about it, but it is touted to be this massive online 50v50 sort of first person multiplayer game. I think it does have a lot of potential to be something quite cool and coming to PlayStation Plus, given its heavy reliance on an online community, I think is the best way to release a game like this. So I think this actually makes a lot of sense as a PlayStation Plus title. Hopefully it's gonna be better than some of the multiplayer or big multiplayer games that they've been releasing in the last couple of months. Uh, there have been a few months of kind of pretty average, I would say, multiplayer titles. So the community dies pretty damn quickly or it doesn't even exist to begin with because it just doesn't take off. I think this game has potential, it does look cool and I'm definitely keen to check this one out if it is free and it is one of the PlayStation Plus games. If it's not, don't know if I will because I don't think there are gonna be enough people buying it, but who knows? Um, but those are the three games. Let me know what you guys think of these leaks in the comments down below. If you think that this is somewhat reliable or not. And, uh, and we can have a bit of a conversation about it. When the games are officially revealed, I will do a separate video about that. And we'll talk about them together. And maybe I'll put some more thoughts around Mortal Kombat together. So we can kind of have a bit more of a discussion about that as well. But like I said, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you like this lineup, if you don't like this lineup. I would say it's a pretty weak lineup. Personally, I think it's an average lineup for PlayStation Plus. I don't think it's a, a particularly strong lineup. I think it's arguably one of the weakest lineups in 2021 although we had some pretty bad ones we had, we had some really good ones earlier in the year which is why it's kind of so shocking that it has gone downhill so much in, in the last couple of months it's you know we, we had the heights of, of man eater and days gone and control as our free games for a couple of months there which are really awesome you know arguably big triple a and double a games so to go from those to, to i mean technically i guess 2k and mortal kombat are triple a games but two kind of I would say more B-grade AAA quality games, if you even want to call them that. It does feel a little bit strained, which is why I feel like there is a rejig coming for PlayStation Plus. But look, who knows at this stage? We, we, yeah, we don't know. I'll do an update later in the week when it comes out. I think probably towards the end of this week and we can have a bit more of a discussion about it there. And I'll take some of people's comments from the comment section down below and we will put it into that video as well, especially if people are happy or disappointed about this. If I'm missing something, let me know in the comments down below. If there is some more leaks, let me know in the comments down below and we can talk about it there. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Patreons for September. I want to give you a warm, warm thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to each and every one of you for keeping all the lights on here at Platinum Trophy HQ. By supporting me either via Patreon or by a channel membership below, you'll see your names over here next to me if you are a Patreon or a channel member. Thank you each and every one of you. If you also want to support the channel and help keep the lights on over here, you can do that by hitting the link in the description down below and joining me on Patreon or clicking the join button on YouTube just down below and you get access to emo and some other exclusive things there as well. Every single cent counts. Thank you all for the encouragement and continuing to support this channel so I can continue making great content. Thanks for all those watching as well as all my extra special supporters.